frame lag when I shoot on this mission for whatever reason. Oh, what? Really? Okay, I need a different gun because this gun's almost out. Almost out of ammo. Guess I'll pick up the car ninety eight K. Come on out of the way. Oh, thank God. See, I thought these guys said they were going to hang back and defend the vehicle. They sure as hell aren't hanging back and defending the vehicle. But, I'm pretty sure we do have time for handshakes and hellos. Oh, that was some serious frame drop right there for whatever reason. Okay, it's safe there, good. Ouch! Got shot in the back, what the hell? Is there any health kits in here? Ah oh, yes, awesome, good. I could use them, I was about at, at about half health. You guys go in and finish them off. I'm just gonna. Oh god, I'm a shot. Oh, well, I think I actually did hit him. Fairly certain I already read this, so I'm not going to. And now we are the British. I do believe. Gentlemen. Yes, we are. That ear looks a lot like Hitler. Which is on purpose, I'm 100% sure of that. Along with the 3rd Canadian Infantry Division of Juno. To the west, 
Yes, we'll take a Utah and an Omaha. Now, the entire eastern flank of the invasion will be exposed to a German counterattack from the Calais region. Should the Germans break through, they could very well have tanks rolling through Sword Beach and all the way down to Utah, wiping out the entire beachhead. Our task, along with the rest of the 6th Airborne Division, is to secure that flank at all costs by capturing and holding key bridges along the axis of approach. D Company's objective is this bridge over the Khan Canal. Under cover of darkness, the gliders will put us down in the field next to the bridge. From there, we rush the pillbox and prevent the Germans from blowing the bridge. At least one bread gun will provide a base of fire while we flank it from both sides. Once we've captured the bridge, we hold it until relieved, which could take several hours. During that time, we may find ourselves using the Germans' own weapons against them. So I suggest you familiarize yourselves with the captured ones we have on base. Good luck, and Godspeed. Dismissed! Okay. Uh, let's see. Reference map, 1 out of 50,000 sheets, blah blah blah. I'm not gonna read all of that. Uh, June 5th, 1944. Uh, intention, objective. Your task is to seize intact the bridge over the canal at Benoville. 098748 and to hold it until relieved by 7 para I'm, I'm, I don't know I want to say that it's probably supposed to be battalion but I'm not sure most likely several hours information enemy static defenses in area of operations garrison of the bridge at Benavo oh okay it's Benawauville or something like that uh, consists of about 50 men armed with at least 4 to Six light machine guns, MG-42s, and possibly assorted anti-tank weapons. State of alertness: the large-scale preparations necessary for the invasion of the content or the continent. This, the suitability of the moon and tide will combine to produce a high state of alertness in the German defense, particularly in vicinity of bridges. Charges will have been laid in the demolition chambers. Method three outline. Insertion via Horsa Glider, the capture of the bridge will be a coup de main op demanding largely on surprise, speed, and dash for success. Your difficulties will arise in holding off an enemy counterattack on the bridge until you are relieved, and yes, that is true because I had difficulty playing on the hardest difficulty when doing that. And we get a completely black, um, Back or, or fork or whatever you want to call it, out there. This is a terrible ride. I think we need to do more than brace. I know, you're all freaking out. You're like, oh god, we're gonna die, aren't we? Yeah, that hurt. Yeah, yeah, it was. No, that was a normal landing. Trust me. That was a very normal landing. Very stellar. That was the best landing we ever had, Captain Price. That I will tell you right now. Nothing beats it. Nothing. Not now, not ever. And that is obviously meant to be sarcasm. Let's actually go and save real quick. I want to be able to see all three machine guns. Shh. 
shit, what happened? My volume, it got ridiculously loud. Get out of the way, you stupid private. Oh, that's a friendly, never mind. Whoops, sorry about that, bro. You kind of looked like an enemy for a little bit. So I couldn't completely see you. Um, come on, let me up, thank you. Oh, really? I'm missing. Oh, I'm using the wrong freaking sight. I'm using the left prong of the sights. That would explain why I'd missed there. I wasn't really paying close enough attention to where I was aiming. Oh, fail, fail, fail. God damn it! Ah, you see, that's the thing that I fucking hate about this mission. It's the fact that you've got to try to avoid a fucking tank that's shooting at you. Without technically being capable of reasonably doing this. Because there is no freaking sprint button yet. That damn thing was not invented in this year, obviously.
What? Oh my god, I'm freaking shooting like right over their heads. Where's this last guy? I see him. But I have no bullet penetrations. Gotta wait for him to pop his head up. Okay, thank you for this exact same quote again. Okay, we have redeployed the sandbag positions at MG42s. Had to bin most of the MGs. The barrels were too badly worn from overheating. Seven para taken longer than expected. Still holding out. Uh, one battalion of 736 Grenadier Regiment in the area. Maybe 8 to 12 tanks uh, for the mobile units. Is actually that written stuff, I guess, but supposed to be uh, several platoons expected to the west. No sign of them yet. Stay alertness. I would say they're bloody well alerted by now. <laughs> Captain Price noted noticed a strange thing this morning. They had the bridge wired, but no explosives were in the holders. Found them securely stowed by the pillbox. Interesting. Net reinforcements came in from Canville at 0800. So I. I don't know if that's supposed to be us who got reinforcements or them who got reinforcements. Presumably us. But it might be them. I'm still not sure. Captain, we salvaged the area. Apart from some medical supplies, all we found were a couple of rifles and several panzer fasts, which are woefully inaccurate. Thank God we still have that flat gun. We can use it to hold the bridge until our relief shows up. <laughs> Okay, not allowed to uh, get on the flat gun, which is the annoying part. Thank God, we still have that flat gun. We can use it to hold the bridge until our relief shows up. Oh, I need to go over there, really? I'd much rather not need to go over here, to be completely honest with you. My kids are obviously love standing on crates.
other than some Mark One hand grenades. Ouch. Okay, I can't hit these guys. Oh. Okay, I don't mind doing that. Oh god, they're shooting at me. Oh my god, these guys must be trained against surviving Hitler's buzzsaw. What the hell are you guys doing? Okay. Yeah, guys, I understand there's a tank coming from the north, but it's not coming around the corner yet, so I can't shoot it. You're shitting me, right? No, I'm reloading that.
Oh my god. See, this is where the issue comes into play. Is that to be able to do this, you need to have all the infantry dead. However, issue comes with the fact that the AI is incompetent at taking out said infantry. Kinda makes killing these guys- oh my god, what the hell. So I think I'm just gonna actually sit back here and use the Panzerfaust. Oh, there's Pans of Fausts right there, I didn't know that. Missed. Yeah, I'm just gonna Panzer Faust them to death. I would really love to get back inside if you don't mind.
And there we go. Okay, done. Let's uh, let's get out of here. We actually got reinforcements. Bloody well done, my friend. Bloody well done. Sorry, I had to do it. It is foolish and wrong to mourn the men who died. Rather, we should thank God that such men lived. General George S. Patton. All right, settle down. We've got new orders straight from SOE, as well as two new transfers from the 6th Airborne to help us carry them out. They were highly recommended for this operation as a result of their actions on D-Day. Captain Price, Sergeant Evans, welcome to 3 Troop. Now, let's get down to business. These are the locations of the major hydroelectric dams in the Ruhr industrial region of Germany. Their main purpose is to provide electrical power to the factories and cities throughout the area. Last year, a clever fellow by the name of Dr. Barnes Wallace created an odd sort of bomb that was specially designed to breach these dams. Using these bombs, the dam busters from 617 Squadron successfully breached the Mona and Eder dams, causing extensive flooding and damage to the industrial heart of Germany. The bad news is the bastards have already repaired the damage done, and Bomber Command wants to have another crack at these targets. This is the Eder Dam. We're to make a night drop on this one. From the DZ, it's a day's tab through unpopulated areas around the dam's reservoir. Dropping in any closer is impossible, as the enemy flak is simply too concentrated around the dam itself. Our mission is to locate as many of these anti-air guns as possible, wipe them out so that the bombers can make their runs. This building at the foot of the dam houses the electrical generators. Our orders are to blow this structure in the event that the bombers fail to breach the dam. We set the explosives on a short timer, then get the hell out of there by truck to a nearby airfield and appropriate suitable air transport from the enemy. You all know what to do. Check and test your magazines, zero your sights, and review the maps and photographs carefully. We'll receive signals and embarkation details within the next two hours. Good luck. Okay, well, everything beyond this point is actually going to be blind for me. So, yeah. This mission I did not even touch when I initially played through, so once I can get my cursor. Uh, transferred to SAS with Captain Price on orders from SOE three weeks ago. Haven't seen any others from 6th Airborne, Ooh, excuse me, aside from him. The men here are always competent, always competent as an, are, eh, excuse me. The men here are as competent as any I've ever met, especially Sergeant Waters. We'll have to we'll have to do my best to keep up. Our objectives sorry, you'll probably end up hearing me smack my mic. Uh objectives A to neutralize anti aircraft defenses for pending renewal of ARF bombing missions against the Eder Dam in Germany. B to destroy the electric uh, the electric generators in the power station at the foot of the dam, thereby slowing production at German manufacturing plants throughout the Ruhr Valley region. Information to Germany or enemy, excuse me, what the hell? Uh, static defenses are in area of operations. Garrison at the Eder Dam consists of at least 40 men armed with associated small arms, MP40 Car 98K, and at least three light anti air guns, possibly 20mm or 88mm. State of alertness, last May's Operation Chastity. Uh, ruptured the dam, but the Germans have since restored it and strengthened the AA defenses. Once the garrison forces are alerted, nearby towns at 0256640226370 and 0256190, while undoubtedly dispatch reinforcements in platoon to company strength. Method outline infiltration will be affected by parachute DZ approximate one day overland from the dam as radar and AA coverage have increased in the immediate vicinity exfiltrate by any means at your disposal Captain Price and Sergeant Waters plan to steal a German Tory or lorry and what was that dam busters number uh, November 6 and 7th wait what no number 6 and 7 I don't okay whatever just leave that as, as I'm not going to try to figure out what the hell that's supposed to be saying. 
So I got I got a scoped car 98k and a Sten gun. Why do I have a scoped car 98k? I do not know. But this is actually going to be the end of the game for or my recording session for now.